Welcome back. This time we're gonna do a horrible, horrible mission for one person, and 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 it's horrible. We're doing village. Twenty years ago, I visited the same village. It was here that I met Vladimir Farnsworth. We're now here under very different circumstances. There are three huts, any of which could hold clues to Vlad's whereabouts. We must not allow his creations to destroy this village. Bard. So he has this this mission has three objectives which you must defend all simultaneously. It's very difficult for one person, especially once volt droppers come into play because they will hit all three per run. But I'm going uh, the best possible, hopefully the best possible choice for this, uh, with a Selker Mark III. That's what I have with sprint plus legs for weapons. I would like two razors of the gods. Uh, because it's such a it's such a good weapon. In fact, let's check the shop real quick. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna get it. No, it's too rare. I could get that heavy anti-air one. Let's get that. So we'll slap that on this one because we already have a shred weapon, and I'd prefer another flak weapon just in case. Uh, so we're going with uh, Razor the Gods and heavy anti-air. So, I'd like to raise the god, but I can't. We've got a standard flak turret, best I can have. Advanced machine gun, advanced sniper, and cluster mine layer. Uh, the other option is you can go uh, advanced mortar and cluster mine layer. I'm choosing sniper this time, just because I feel like it. I'm not going to get a gold on the first try, and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get a gold for a while yet. Uh, this mission's very difficult for one person to even complete, much less get a gold. One, two, three, get it? There's three huts. Oh, uh, good God. Just secure them so we can track that bastard down. Sure, whatever. So what I like to do, the first wave is uh, going to be aerials. I'm going to start off snipers Watch on out. these rocks. Now. There's your aerials. Uh, and I want to s basically make the left side entirely self-sufficient self with uh, mine layers and stuff. Go pick up what scrap I can. The problem with this mission is you're likely to miss a bunch of the scrap because, well, you can't see it. It's underwater. Makes it a bit difficult. Uh, go ahead and place a machine gun there. And start machine gunning these guys to death with my flak of all things, but that's what I've got. You'll have to be running back and forth fairly often. In fact, I may just let stuff spawn <laughs> so I can collect scrap. I'd be incredibly surprised if I managed 100% this. Or even, or sorry, not 100%, get a gold or even maybe a silver would be incredibly amazing. Go ahead and place a machine gun here. About, probably about there. And then I'm gonna go back to getting uh, machine or snar sorry snipers up on the snipe tinger too snipers up on the rocks again snipe tuner should be handled by the that's a problem though should be handled by the snipers this this is a problem pretty sure they just shot the hut please block it with me oh you suck all right well I was hoping I could block it with you know me taking the face that shot to the face but it didn't work out that way sadly not gonna replace it though this despite how much I probably should I'm not going to oh that's why this mission sucks I forgot about that I would explain to you how this works. Um, the sniper's primary we need to keep this thing online Destroy those static worms. They should regain function. Do 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 do. Pretty sure everything's already back and functioning, but you know, extra scrap doesn't hurt. That's a lot of stuff. Firing at my base. I really should be killing that for the sniper because I have flak, but whatever. So I'm pretty sure we've lost the gold now. Didn't take very long there, did it? Pick up scrap. Kill you, pick up more scrap. You see why this mission becomes difficult now. Because to do this mission, you really do need uh, emplacements. And that was a machine gun. Whoops. And because the game hates you, uh, it, 
doesn't want you to do that. So now I've accidentally placed a machine gun up there. Great. These guys are going to be a problem because they're just going to walk around the side. If I had two snipers, this would be going a bit better. <laughs> the machine gun on the side is completely worthless. I reloaded early. Oops. Let's go ahead and get this sniper up. Do I have it selected a sniper? Yes. Okay. To be honest, I'd really be quite fond of that machine gun dying, but that's not going to happen, sadly. So the reason I want three snipers on those rocks is they have elevation, which gives them a good line of sight on things, and they have the range to cover all three huts. Uh, sadly, obviously, that went wrong quite badly. So we'll just have to deal with what we've got now, which is suboptimal on many different levels. Uh, sadly. You could, instead of snipers, place oh, flak on those rocks to give them a good coverage of these guys, but I have flak machine guns, so I don't think it's a problem. Especially how easily the Razor of the Gods kills stuff, it's insane. Go ahead and continue picking up stuff. All the scrap I can, because we're going to be putting more snipers down. Uh, momentarily, anyway. What I want to do is I want to run over here. Actually, we can't run that way because it'll uh, push us oh, off. Man, and the aerials are back. Just lovely jovely. Die. If I actually hit the target, that would be lovely jovely anyway. Go ahead and put a mine layer here. They should handle the aerials over there. That machine gun helping it should anyway. Could upgrade that. Did you manage to kill them all yet? No! Why are you taking so long? Pieces of crap? Oh, because there's more. Oh, the snipe tuners are distracting stuff. Alright, well, whatever. I wasn't expecting to get a gold on the first try, and I wouldn't expect anybody to get a gold on the first try solo on this map. If you have two people, much easier. If you have three, it's a joke, basically. You just have, uh, this is gonna disappear, yeah. You just have each person watch a hut. Those vault droppers are capable bombers. That's a problem. I don't know the range of my flak. Uh, that vault dropper was no match for a flak machine gun. Supposedly I'm hitting him because he said something, but I, it wasn't hitting the hit marker. He'll do a full circle before he attacks, thankfully. Because uh, he'll hit all three ruts. All three huts on each bombing run, so. Why don't they just give up? Pick up the scrap that he's dropping in the area. Which is just enough to get a another sniper right there. And that'll be the last sniper I place. Uh, the rest of it's gonna be machine guns, uh, flak, mines randomly placed around. Is it just everything spawning back there? Yeah, it is. For now, anyway. Something else will likely... Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I figured. Let's kill you. That should open up my snipers. That. And they should, in theory, help this out. I may leave those burst transmitters alive just so they'll kill this machine gun, but they're not going to make it that far. They might. This is a waste of scrap, but... Ah, oh, they didn't quite make it. Curses. But I really would like to replace that. Next thing we need to do, run all the way over here, place another mine layer on this one. Right about there. And then that one will be get upgraded in a second. They're going around this way, sadly, but that's why the mine layer's there, so it shouldn't be too bad. In fact, most of them got killed before they even left. The downside, of course, is picking up scrap from way over here becomes a slight issue. Especially when you're the only one here. They run back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. It's very irritating. Something just spawned behind me. Resistors! They will get killed by the snipers. Yep. Like and the mine layer, coming. obviously. Of course, there's more coming. Shush! Shush, you shush! But this is the general strategy. If I hadn't messed up that sniper, it would be going a bit better. Uh, 
that machine gun I placed over there accidentally, because that would give me four snipers covering the huts, which makes it substantially right, easier. But there's still pretty much zero chance of getting a gold. Look at that black machine gun tearing up those aerials. Yes, yes, tearing up the aerials. Look at it go. I'm just gonna pick up scrap while these guys get shot by everything. They didn't get shot quite enough. Oop. I'm just gonna spray over there in the hopes that I actually hit one of them. There we go. Continue picking up scrap. And now begins placing flak cannons everywhere. Let's put one right there. Pick up more scrap, hopefully enough to fit another uh, flak cannon. Blitzers, charging you. Quick, take them out. Blitzers? Oh no, whatever will I do? Other than nothing. Because the snipers will just kill them one shot apiece. So. Obviously I want to get that scrap base at though, so... That's a lot of them. Realized. Maybe, mayhaps I should have been worried. There we go. Put an owl. Another flak down. Oh, hi. Pick up this. Put another um, mine layer down. Way up here. Because I want those mines to fire off before the snipers shoot anything. Just to save some hassle there. And I can't quite upgrade it, so go ahead and put a flak over here. Way over here. To assist with that. This is why I like snipers so much, by the way. The range in the range they have allows them to deal with uh, aerial units easily. This is gonna be a problem. Uh, not quite as much of a problem as I thought it would be. They're killing my flag. They did kill my mine, or my, oh, they killed the flag. Oh. They killed the machine gun over here. So at the very least, I can fix that. It's a bit late for that, but at least I could. They did kill the flak over here. Not a very good trade there. The green one's doing the best, which isn't terribly surprising, considering that's usually where I focus all my turrets. That was my button messing up. Final wave. Well... We may... no, we're not. I was going to say we may get a gold, but never mind. Especially when he does that. Did I say you could shoot at my hut? No. So don't shoot at my hut. Piece of garbage. He'll be dead shortly. There he goes. Another vault dropper. Just go ahead and put a flag down somewhere willy-nilly. And start firing on it. He's going to get a bombing run if I don't hurry. He's gonna swing around. He's gonna get his. There's the other volt dropper. He's gonna get his bombing run off. Unless. Oh, close. Close. This guy needs to go down. He's gonna keep putting flak around to help. To help with killing volt droppers. Ooh, Nelly. The snipers are mainly what I'm what I'm using for volt droppers because they have the range to engage him. So hopefully, that looks like it's probably a silver. Well, it's going to be a silver, because that's like 50%, so... Indeed! We'll see what I managed. I'm probably in the 60s, high 60s range there, if I'm going to guess. Definitely not a gold, though. A bit sloppy. Best I can do, though. Well, I could do better if I hadn't screwed up, but... That's what we got, so we're going to get a gold. Actually, we didn't miss gold by much. That was pretty good. Might have actually managed to get gold on the first try, which would surprise even me had I not screwed up that sniper placement. Ooh, fortify plus slash quick load. Meh, I was hoping for quick load plus actually, but advanced mine layer, that's good. Gives us a better mine layer. It's not a cluster mine layer, so it doesn't explode into a cluster, but does more damage, so. Same number of mines, it just doesn't have the larger AoE that the cluster stuff comes with. Either way, that was our run of that. We'll have to redo that level for gold, much like many other levels so far. But regardless, I'll do a little salute. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.